The United States, like many other countries, uh, suffers from a, uh, a lack of trust. Rob Porter was a high-ranking White House aide with a low public profile. He was the man responsible for managing all documents that were seen by the president. But unlike some people Donald Trump brought to the White House, Porter was no stranger to Washington politics. One of the president's most trusted advisors. She says he choked her. He says he's innocent. Porter was forced to resign after his two ex-wives came forward with allegations of domestic violence. Rob followed me to the shower and, and pulled me out of the shower to continue the rage. Former classmates and colleagues described Porter as confident and capable, but others described his behavior as cocky and overly ambitious. He served as chief of staff for Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah for over two years. The clean-cut Republican went to Harvard Law School and was a Rhodes Scholar. Indeed, in these three areas, the facts of the campaign point to George W. Bush as the clear and essential choice for President of the United States. His father was a former aide to President George H.W. Bush and is a professor at Harvard. While in law school, Porter took two years off to go on a Mormon mission in London. Both of Porter's ex-wives have spoken out about the Mormon church's role in their relationships. Jennifer Willoughby said, quote, When I tried to get help, I was counseled to consider carefully how what I said might affect his career. Recently, the Daily Mail reported that Porter was in a relationship with Hope Hicks, the White House communications director. Porter was a rising star in Washington politics. His abrupt exit puts another unwanted spotlight on the White House.